I'm going to Goodwood. Mark's driving me to Goodwood. We're going to Goodwood. First time I've ever been. Everyone's told me to go for 20 odd fucking years. Said it's amazing. Probably is, but I've never been. But the reason I've never been is because I think most car people are bellends. And I wish I'd have had the camera on a minute ago to show you exactly what I meant. There's a Ferrari 488, you know, 670 brake, absolute weapon in front of us. A bloody MR2 with a standard exhaust that was sounding like it was blowing and standing like shit as well. Come alongside him, revved his engine at him, and then like smiled at him like he was going to be like impressed or his mate or something. And I just literally, what a fucking penis. Absolute cunt. Like literally made me embarrassed to like cars. It's why I never tell people apart from car people that I like cars. Because most of them are dickheads. And I hope whoever that person was, it was a Mark III MR2 and I own one of them to make it even worse. I hope you're watching this and embarrassed by yourself because that was the gayest thing I've ever seen. Literally, that was appalling and this is definitely going in the video because that was so fucking shit. In other news, lots of cool cars coming into here. And helicopters. Hopefully it's going to helicopters with rich people who can just fly in and then drive their race cars around. But, um... Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get close enough to cars to uh, show people fucking engines and stuff. I'm not going to be filming some big vlog thing all day. You're just going to see bits and pieces of Goodwood, maybe. Or maybe you won't, because I can't be bothered. But we'll see. But um, I, this bit's going to the video, even if nothing else from Goodwood does. Because that fucking made me feel sick. And just wankers. Absolute cunts. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Oh look, a fucking Ferrari revving. Because the stewards told him to. That's quite bent as well. There's some badass cars here, to be fair. But somebody's actually put a car cover on their car in the car park. The Ferrari hasn't, but whatever that is, has just Aston Martin. Don't you think that's a bit overkill? If you're going to fucking drive your car here, why would you even do that? Um, a fake rally Yaris. I like the Yaris's, I like rally cars, but I don't like fake rally cars. There's actually some really fucking good cars in car park. Better than most shows, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, it's the right shit as well, but still. Hell of a lot of people come in helicopters. This is definitely rich people land. <laughs>
they're brilliant. Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really. Yeah. Unfortunately, mine was stock internals, and I, uh, I put the rod out the block last night. Oh, so. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I got. Um, but yeah. No. That's yeah, a proper in there. In Germany, one layman. Anti-lag. What's that there? Yeah. Huh? Anti-lag. Anti-lag. The wiring. Yeah, yeah. Silly. That's your anti-lag valve there. Look. Awesome. Yeah. 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 I know, I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I should have waited until I put some rods in it before this. Because now mine's got. What did you do then? Hang on, I'll show you a picture. Hold on. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Let me quickly bring this down. Always want to have a proper close up look at one of these. I've got some pictures. No, exactly, yeah. Like one. This one. I don't think there's another one in the UK. I've not seen one in the UK. BX4 TC, one of the worst, best, amazingest cars ever. so rubbish but amazing they they would have been good if they'd have carried on developing them but Group B got banned they were made, they? yeah they were literally like thrown together yeah literally lobbed together if it does the job it does the fucking job doesn't it so these were the yeah it's big you, know, you can see the turbo a 2.2.1 four cylinder turbo four wheel drive turbo's there look yeah but it's funny i'll show you i got the engine bay open because the engines are like proper, kind of thrown together like the body is. The engine bay looks like someone shouldn't have made it themselves, and it's even though it's an official Citroen <laughs> Group B. Let's hope. Let's hope. I love the family surrounded it. What one night is? <laughs> yeah. I still prefer Legacies to Impressors. I love the one I had. Yeah. Dakar Audi Quattro. Twin plenum inlet with two entries, top and bottom. Hockey puck engine mounts. No, it's, uh, it's it's not the original. They come with KKKs. That's a, you know, there's a Garrett G series on it. It's like a G uh, GT30 sort of size one, so. and a teal gate. It's in the standard place, but it's not the standard turbo. It's modernised. Oh yeah, it's all the money though. Yeah, it's like a modernised version. It's like modern injectors, modern ACU, everything. But it's fucking nice. Not a camper van, despite the roof. It's for a massive amount of cooling. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Another modern, modern recreation with the carbon in that. Bloody yeah. That is. All the money. That's the ports where the anti lag would have been, and it's blanked off. So I had the option of having the anti lag stair, but it's been removed and welded up. Billet cam cover. And the most weirdly small breather pipe I've ever seen. Crazy, only Anderson's old rallycross car that made modern. Okay. Okay, but I don't know. I don't know. More rejection. Is that good? 
water injection there. And then they're anti or something. No. Well, maybe they've used that one, but the World Rally Car one's often have a second one there. They probably use just that one like I had on mine. Some of them had a second anti-lag valve from there to there, if I remember right. Whereas that one's just got the one. Has it got the other one as well? No, I haven't. No, they also they had them there, and they, used, they also had, used to have um, like Ian had it on his like fresh air one into the manifold there and there, but and I got on this one. But still, it's fucking ace. <laughs> See that bus turbo. Morning. Quite an event for twenty four hours or so. Um, <clears throat> I want a good wood. As you can see in the uh, footage I've got, never been before. First time in about 20 years of people telling me to go. It's good. If um, anyone ever said, is it worth going to Goodwood? Yeah, 100%. What I don't understand though, is everyone saying, you know, you people who go every year or people who say they need like all weekend there. It, it won't, it doesn't change enough every year to, makes sense to go every year it seems crazy to me and needing four days there i suppose that does if you want to sit there and watch the track action because obviously that is all day non-stop all day all the days <laughs> but um for me i wanted to see the cars like up close that's the one thing you can't see on youtube and all that because nobody ever fucking records it so i wanted to have a good look at the cars and you can go around and look at all the racing cars static up close and even spend a, you know a few hours watching the track and watching the rally course easily in one day i don't care you know even on we went on a sunday which was the busiest day by miles and it's fine um we wasn't even there all day because summit came up so we'd left about three o'clock but we saw everything from like half past nine till three o'clock there wasn't anything i didn't want to see Looked at some stuff twice because I wanted another good look. Probably spent an hour watching the um, rally cars in the forest stage. And probably at least half an hour off and on watching the cars just going up the hill climb. So people saying you need like days and days is madness. I mean, I spent ages, if you're like me and wanted to just look at the cars technically, then fucking one day it's fine if i go again I, on this video i'll show you uh my footage because i didn't film much cause i didn't plan to I, just, I did it for me you know but i filmed i filmed a bit and um i'm tempted maybe next year especially if i can blag a press pass um to go on the thursday and literally go around filming like i did the cars and the engines up close to details because I've never seen 99% of the things I saw up close today even though I've searched from on YouTube and whatever because although there's billions of fucking YouTube videos about Goodwood every fucking year nobody seems to have the knowledge or the ability to film what I was as in they don't understand the technical shit so don't even know what they're looking at so don't film it but if there's a good response to what I've done and you'll see on this video, I might go next year actually aiming to film some stuff because this I just did for fun and um, make some proper 
technical videos and all this shit because uh, everybody's, I mean, literally, there's some of the, most of the ones, the engines and all that were already on display, so I didn't do it. But one or two, I actually asked them, like, you know, is this your car? Can you open the bonnet? And they was fucking amazed and surprised and more than pleased because somebody actually wanted to fucking see their shit because I must admit, the place is rammo, absolutely fucking rammo people and it, practically everybody I saw or heard or spoke to seemed to not have a fucking clue, they love, they obviously love cars but they didn't even know what they were looking at 99% of the time it was crazy, so no wonder these people were amazed when like someone was asking them, you know, if they could have a close look, they was well chuffed but I didn't do that hardly at all, there was tons of cars that I would have liked to have, but I just couldn't bother. I wasn't doing it for any reason. But if I went there for this reason, I would fucking go around asking everybody because they'd be more than happy to, especially on a Thursday when nobody's busy. So I might do that next year. But apart from that, I can't imagine, I can't see the reason of going over and over again because, yeah, there's different cars every year, but not that many different cars. It's the same sort of stuff every time. And unless you want to watch a track all day, I, you definitely don't need to. Uh, see fucking you know be there for days and you watch the track better on youtube in my opinion you can't see shit it's still rammed because everybody's trying to watch it it is good though um in other news the night before i um timed sorry about this it's raining a lot and the windows are open because the battery's flat and i can't close them the night before after doing some more drive shaft modification and strengthening and this time it does seem to hold it at about six eight launches in a row like launch control hard ones and they were fine i timed it not 60 because everyone keeps asking even though i kind of knew what the result would be um and also um 64 foot because a few people hill climb people where they measure 64 foot as their time not 60 foot like drag racing wanted to know so i thought fuck it why not because i can do it all in one run and i did about five or six time runs i think with the draggy and yeah, it's fucking fast. Um, best not to 60. They were all about the same. They were all within a, a couple of tenths. Because it was uh, one road. I did it on one road. And it was flat. It was an old Roman road in the middle of nowhere. Near here. About 20 miles away. Chedworth. Well, near Chedworth. Not Chedworth. But Ro Chedworth's where Roman Villa is. And it was a long, straight Roman road. That's like completely dead. Goes nowhere. I did it there in the middle of the fucking night on a Sunday night. Um, not the smoothest road, it had not as much grip as outside the workshop either, it was a bit wheel spinny but not much, it still fucking rocketed forward and after I think I did five, four, five, six, I can't remember timing, I'll post some up on this video, 0-60 best was 4.3, worst was 4.5, um, which you know, and they, they were all 4.4, 4.5, 4.3, you know that kind of shit. And if you remember, people, I've probably said on here in previous videos, people have asked me, oh, what's a 0-60, what's a 0-60? And I said, I don't care because it's down to grip. And I have got loads of grip, but it's not down to the, the car's performance, really, because it's going to depend what tyres you're on. And I'm on some proper fucking tarmac rally tyres. If I've got the correct grip, then com comparing the 60 to 100 mile an hour times and the 100 to 200, mile an 200 kilometer an hour times, which were the same as like a 997 GT3 RS. The 0-60 is probably the same as a 997 GT3 RS. And 997 GT3 RS, unsurprisingly, is 4.2 to 60. So I got 4.3, which is a blink of an eye. So there you go, there's your fucking answer. This It's not magic. If you've got the same traction as a car doing whatever times you've already proven from a roll, you've probably got the same 0-60. Most cars are way slower because they haven't got the start line traction, standard start traction as a serious fucking supercar or whatever because supercars come with massive tyres. Most modified cars have got more power than grip. But being a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car with proper tyres, I've got fucking massive grip. So I did both. Um, the 60-foot times were, I think, one or 1.8 or 1.9 which is good for a road car on the road but for if it was a prep drag strip that's nothing special 
Um, 1.6 is very good for a road car, even you know, even on semi slicks or something on the strip. But like fucking race cars do like barely over one second. You know, 1.2s, 1.3s, 1.4s. But like, met of mine this old Pulsar GTR with like 300 horsepower used to do 1.6s on these same tires I've got on. 60 foots on the on the track, not on the you know, not on the road. That's like prep drag strip. But still, 1.8s best I've ever done, even on the drag strip in any car. Best I've managed before that is I think a two second dead. <laughs> so, and that was on the strip with semi slicks. Not in this car, of course, that was in my RX-7. 64 foot is the hill climb time that they use. And um, that was a funny one. Some, I didn't even, I've never even heard of that until someone mentioned it. Basically, um, two seconds is super fast. That equates to one G acceleration. Um, I got 1.97 or something, which is fucking rapid, which is not surprising if you felt how this thing goes. I mean, you've got all the weight in the back above the wheels in a light car. It's like, no wonder, really. But it's quite funny. Somebody, some hill climb dude, I think, on my Instagram, when I posted up the thing, they was like, oh, the drag is obviously aren't accurate then because you can't do 1.97. Well, you can't do sub two seconds on road tyres. It's like, yeah, just because you can't do it don't mean it's not fucking possible. I mean, that's bollocks anyway. I mean... It's only a 4.2 naught to 60. There's some production supercars, or even fucking Teslas and shit that do, you know, naught to 60 in the, you know, low twos or whatever. So me doing fucking double that time to 60, fuck yeah, there. Of course, there's 64 foot's gonna be faster than that. And there's road cars with, like I said, on a prep surface, yeah, but whatever. It's still road tires doing 1.6 to 60 foot. So I'm damn sure on a decent fucking hill climb, they would manage, you know, le it's not gonna take him another half a second to do four foot. Bullshit. Just cause he can't do it, just cause the hill climb cars he's talking about can't do it, don't mean it's not possible. I'm guessing because of the classes he's on about that run road tires, road legal tires, they're not fast because usually anything that can run with decent power and whatever aren't in those classes they're in like the higher classes that can run like fucking hill climb slicks and whatever so his, his arguments bollocks as far as i can tell because you know you can't compare it to like a front wheel drive hill climb car even on fucking slicks or a, a lightly modified mr2 or some mid-engine fucking thing this thing's making like 300 pound foot of torque on launch with massive with like 850 kilos and grippy ass tires and a welded diff and all that kind of shit and fairly soft suspension compared to a hill climb car so it's gonna squat and dig in and launch but he's like oh it's not possible say so, fucking course it is you wally but that's what i love about modified car people if they can't do it in their eyes it's impossible it's like no don't work like that and yeah but that does prove when people are claiming your shit's not even possible to do that that your shit is fast so you know but in that note remember i've been saying like this is on borrowed time and i'm going to kill it soon doing all this shit because yeah these standard rods are not made for doing this kind of shit well the end of that timing luckily was literally i was just driving off i wasn't going to do any more i blew the fucking shit out of it the rods is yeah rods have gone to god massively <laughs> see that that is the oil pump chain not the timing chain these haven't got them oil pump chain that's the oil pump broken clean off that's a big hole in the block where the rod went through I properly did a good job on it it just I was just one big bang and then just a bit of rattling and that was it but yeah rod through the block oil pump through the sump like I said, the, the chain is just for the oil pan. These are cam out. So chances are, I won't be surprised if the other three cylinders are just fine. I'm not sure. But this has blown up massively. I don't know what's on the other side yet. I'll have to get the engine to the workshop and take it out and all that to uh, be sure. But um, fuck yeah. Absolutely blown to bits. It, but the drive shaft's held, so that's good. 
and at Goodwood I was looking around at drive shafts of other cars and even like serious fucking race cars like the Electromotive um, Nissan GTP turbo 1000 horsepower fucking IMSA car the shafts were no bigger than this they really weren't so um, that's fucking good news to say you don't need gigantic motherfuckers and that's on like 360 wide slicks but yeah 180 has exploded and I don't care because this engine's you know they're, they're worthless don't matter the only thing was the inconvenience of waiting for the AA to get me home and that was only you know 10 minute wait from when I got off the phone which is testament to the AA um, they've always been pretty fast and I was only about 15-20 miles from home so it was easy enough but now I've got to get this down to workshop which means transport a job like I'll have to borrow a trailer or transport off somebody engine out and put a new one in but I may as well put good rods and the band pistons and to be honest probably a bigger turbo because as much as I love this and it's fast as fuck I want even faster so yeah good times fun times blown up the fuck times <laughs>